in my opinion, in my opinion, in my opinion, in my opinion, my Recently, Devon made a very shocking statement when he said that Michael Todd is the one who will eventually dethrone Levan. As expected, the thoughts and opinions of most of the arm wrestling fans are not aligned with Devon on this one. And I'm one of them. Why? Because Michael has not shown that kind of performance yet since his comeback after the bicep injury. So we have seen Michael defeat Frank Lamparelli, Todd Hutchings, and Kamil Jablonski, also Lars Rohrbacken, and I think one match which I'm forgetting as of now. So why would I say that we have not really seen Michael's dominant performances since 2019? Well, because Michael was top 5 in the world, or maybe even top 3 in the world, because of his pronation and King's move, the combination of these two things. And the combination of these two things we have not seen since 2019 because Michael defeated Todd Hutchings. Well, that was a different weight category match, so we cannot count that. Frank Lamparelli took Michael's hand. That way, he cannot beat the top top five guys in the world, maybe even top 10 guys in the world. The Lars Rohrbacken match was also different. It was a straight press. It wasn't really a combination of top role of pronation and King's move from Michael. The typical Michael Todd, the, the great Michael Todd, which we saw from 2016, 17, 18, or even before that as well. So even in the Kamil Jablonski match, yes, we saw the traditional Michael with hand control, cupping, pronation, and King's move, but that's just Kamil Jablonski's style. Even if Michael arm wrestled Kamil back when he lost to Gennady Kwekwinia, that match could probably have gone in a similar way. Maybe Michael wouldn't have won then, or maybe he would have, but still it would have looked the same pronation and King's move, which is required from Michael to be in top five once again, and maybe even top 10, as I just mentioned. So hopefully we are going to see all of that from Michael, the hand control and the pronation and the King's move in the Gennady Quickvenia match. And that match is something which both Michael and Devon talked about. Before we discuss that, let's discuss Devon's opinion about Levan versus Jerry upcoming super match. So Devon mentioned that Levan has to be the heavy favorite to think otherwise is crazy. So this thought is definitely aligned with all of the arm wrestling fans who believe that Levan has to be the favorite against everyone no matter what. Even against Hermes Gasparini who basically stopped Levan after obviously losing 4 rounds who made him quit. Still, I think most of the fans will say that Levan is the favorite. He has to be the favorite against Hermes and all of the other arm wrestlers. But Jerry is a different animal. He may very well lose to Levan 6-0 just like all of the other guys. There may be a 95% chance that Jerry loses that match. But for that 1% chance or for that 5% chance I should say, if Levan gets stuck in this position, then it may be a different deal because all of the other arm wrestlers, Levan can basically beat even if they are able to get to their spot. But that won't be the case against Jerry. If Jerry gets Levan here, then it may be all over. But as I just said, the chance of that happening may be less than 5%. Devon said, in my opinion, Michael is going to win this time and I think he's going to do it pretty impressive fashion. He looks incredible right now. So why would Devon say that? Usually you may have seen if we have two friends, one of which we know for 10 years and one of the, the two recently became our friend maybe six months ago. That may be a great guy, but if there is a competition between these two guys, we would want the older friend to win. So is this the case here as well? I think so. Obviously Devon is going to be rooting for Michael and because of that, that North American thing, he may be biased here. So just because of the hand size difference, I don't think it will be possible for Michael to do anything against Levan. But he definitely has a shot to be in the top 5 again and definitely according to Devon. And I'll let you know the reason why Devon thinks so. So Devon mentioned that when he started, when he was about to go in the Levan second actually match, his pronation lift was less than 170 pounds and Michael as of now is up to 181 pounds and he had to stop that because of the Kamil match. So 82 kilos is not Michael's peak. 
he can go further than that if we ask michael maybe he can touch 90 kilos in less than a year so devon really thinks that this lift translates a lot it translates very well into the arm wrestling table and it will be shown the effect of this will be shown in the levan saginashvili match which according to michael todd he can have that match in his recent live stream he mentioned that if he beats gennady then there will be one more match before he gets to face levan saginashvili if he wins that match too then the levan match is on so after defeating gennady michael will be number 5 according to east versus west rankings and all of the other top 4 guys they are basically engaged ermes gasperini is injured devon is still counted among those top 4 guys he will be out of the ranking so he cannot compete against the super heavyweights now because of his own choice i think he is strong enough but he won't so basically nobody is available as of now so michael basically has to pull against some of the lower ranked guys just to prove that his win against gennady wasn't just coincidence or luck on michael's part so the other guys are georgi swetkov sergey kalinichenko alex kordecha maybe one and basically any of these guys whoever the promoter wants michael to face or whoever is ready to step up against michael michael will be, will be more than willing to defeat them so let's get back to michael and levan saginashvili devon's opinion on that in my opinion michael thord might be the man to watch in the category and there's a much better chance that after the smoke settles maybe by next summer we might just see a champion from the west so these are really powerful words devon did mention jerry's name as well that either jerry or michael will be the champion but that also seems really really i'll say almost impossible i would go as far as to say that jerry's chances of defeating michael are way more than michael jerry chances of defeating levan are way more than michael's chances of defeating levan just because of the styles thing just because of the hand difference jerry's hand may also be similar to michael but because of his style it won't matter but once you're trying to crack somebody's wrist back like hand size matters a lot so does that mean that devon now agrees that michael is ahead of him and he would win in a in a rematch i think devon will not say that publicly but this statement which devon just made kind of proves that that he acknowledges michael is already ahead of ahead of himself once again i am not trying to discredit michael's progress his range of motion his strength his speed his abilities since his comeback I am yet to see the pronation and top role and I'm a huge fan of Michael maybe I'm slightly disappointed because we have not seen that yet from Michael the Kamil Jablonski match looked awesome for Michael but stylistically it does not say much so that's why I would like to see Michael dominate Gennady Kvitvinia and he did talk about the Gennady Kvitvinia match Michael mentioned that he basically made a mistake in the second round when he went straight for the press He makes that mistake in every single match that he loses. I think he did that against Dmitry Trubin, definitely against Denis Shapovalov, against Gennady Kvitvinia. Don't know why Michael needs to jump straight to the press in the second round against the top 5 guys in the world, which is absolutely insane. Even in that Gennady match in the third round, Gennady had to give up his wrist to go for a flop press. In the first two rounds, he basically side pressured through Michael's king's move. So maybe he was getting tired. If Michael was 5% stronger that day, I think he would have won that match. And in this match, Michael has mentioned that Gennady needs to be at least 10% stronger than what he was back in 2021 when they faced each other, or maybe 2022 it was. If he's not that much stronger than that form, he's going to lose this match. And Morozov was another name which Michael was talking about facing one of the lower ranked guys. So these four possibilities. So that's it for this video. I hope Michael Todd is back. I hope he gets the matches that he wants. The Levan Sagan actually match seems to be out of reach, out of reach for winning, not for actually having that match. But let's see what Michael does. Thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe.